a lot of it comes down to youthful naivety because at that juncture, no one told us it wasn't possible. So we assumed that it could be done, and we did it. It's interesting having made over 41 films, uh, people really get to see your growth unlike film directors today. You know, they've made obscure movies or shorts and then they get their shot at the big time. Uh, fortunately or unfortunately for us, you can see the progression of our films in quality, uh, in scope, uh, in budget from A to Z. I've gotten got to play a lot of really crazy interesting roles you know everything from uh, you know cops to uh, monsters in suits to you know you name it uh, so just I guess the, the overall variety of things is a lot of fun Mark's very it's a, he's really really good people you know really really great guy and uh, great to work with um, he's very detail oriented he's very focused he's very organized so uh, in general the shoots go pretty much like clockwork uh, all things considering, I mean, it can be, you know, things can get pretty chaotic fairly quickly when you're doing a movie, but his sets are uh, pretty straightforward. Some of the more recent films that uh, I've been involved with would be uh, Meat Eaters, which is a, which is a dinosaur film. Uh, it's, it's about this dinosaur that gets blasted loose from this, this mine and uh, attacks these bank robbers. It kind of works on two different levels. It has a lot of traditional effects, hand puppets, stop motion. Um, it was shot in a couple days. A real, real, real tight, solid little movie. It's, it was a lot of fun. A uh, bigger project would have been uh, Queen Crab, which is more like a made for sci-fi type of movie, but better. Um, it's got a gigantic crab running around, smashing country locals. and. Uh, getting shot at by jets. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a throwback to those 50s movies. I'm Adam Mertland. I am Mansfield University's electronic promotion specialist, uh, which means that I work alongside Mark um, within the public relations department helping uh, produce videos uh, for various needs of the university. Uh, working with Mark on a day-to-day -day basis has been a real treat. Um, I've been a longtime fan of his, his films, and uh, when I found out that he worked at the university, uh, it just became a really cool uh, opportunity, I guess, to maybe get the chance to work with him. And then when that became a reality, it was, uh, it's just been amazing. Um, he brings a lot of passion into everything he does, um, and with all of his years of experience, uh, many of the the hurdles that I would have to be going over uh, alone, I have a mentor that can kind of keep me level-headed, uh, which he's done several times on different shoots where it's just old hat to him, but it's something brand new to me where I was quite nervous. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, he's a great guy to hang out with uh, and a great guy to work with. Just recently I worked with Mark on his latest movie, uh, Bigfoot vs. Zombies. Uh, and I was the director of photography, so to speak. Um, I ran the camera and I helped give Mark some technical advice and some artistic advice, or my input at least. Um, that's really been my main input so far. I hope to do more of them. Uh, currently, I am producing a film for a company that will be distributing it nationwide probably early next year. And I also have worked on a project that I, I can't, because of disclosure, uh, reveal a lot, but I would go on record as saying it's probably the biggest project that I've ever been involved with, just because it is a, a sequel to a pretty popular franchise, and it has a Hollywood name actor in it. I was once asked, what legacy do you want to leave behind as a filmmaker? And I think the best thing that could come of what I do is that someone else could see it and be inspired to do the same thing. Even if you never make a million dollars on a movie, the fact that you've inspired somebody to do something they never thought they could do makes it all worth it in the end.